Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we are going to talk about parallel execution. So, if you miss my other classes about how a CPU works and everything else, so in the other classes we were talking about clock multipliers, 64-bit virtualization support, and other things. So I recommend you to start from the beginning, so that way you can understand much better. So in this class, we are going to talk about parallel execution, like I said before, and we have a few things that I'm going to explain that I wrote uh, here on the whiteboard. So the first thing is pipelining. So uh, pipelining is when the, uh, the computer grabs, you know, in this case, the, the CPU grabs the data from the data bus and deliver it again in the data bus. So in order to do that, it has four stages at minimum. It could, it could be 20 stages as well. So in this, in this case, we have four. It will be the first one will be fetch, then the code, execute, and then write. So that is why I wrote this little uh, mens here on the, on the whiteboard. The first is fetch, the code, execute, and write. So here we have all the, the stages that is going to run the, the CPU. So the first thing will be, okay, the, the, this guy is going to grab the information. The information will be coming from the data bus, like I said before. So this guy is going to grab some, some command. So once it grabs a command, it will give it to the next guy, the code guy. So the, the code guy will open up the command. I will say, okay, they will, they will, uh, this uh, guy will lay out the command and say, okay, we have to do this, this, and this. And then once uh, he knows what to do, he will uh, give the instructions to uh, the next guy. The next guy will be the execute. So this guy will do what the command says. Let's say two plus two or whatever. And then once uh, he uh, got the result, he will give it uh, to the other guy. The other guy is called Wright. So Mr. Wright are going to give the information to the data bus and that, that way uh, the, the cycles uh, start all over again. So remember, here we have four cycles. So in four cycles, that is the clock of the CPU. So it will take four cycles to process the, the whole uh, command of this, the whole uh, instruction. So that is how it was in the, in the beginning, in the earlier, in the early CPUs. Uh, today, things are much different. They are much better. And this is what, uh, how it works. So in this, in this case, you have uh, more pipelines and you have you can process more instructions at the same time so before it was just one and you have to wait so in this case uh, in the in the newer uh, processor today's processor is it works like that because the in the older in the old ages uh, you had this this problem you give the, the instructions uh, to this to this guy the the command and then these uh, three guys were doing nothing. And then once the, this guy, the fetch uh, guy gives, gives the command to the, the code guy, this guy was not uh, doing anything, anything else. And then the other two were doing nothing uh, as well. So, and then when they send the, the command to the other guy, this, the, to, these two com uh, guys were doing anything, nothing, and this one either. So. And at the end, this guy was doing something and these uh, three guys were doing anything, nothing. So, uh, and that was very wasteful. So today, CPU, as soon as uh, this guy grabbed uh, information, the, the command, he, I mean, this, uh, the, uh, at least when you turn on the computer for the first time, these uh, three guys were doing, were, they are going to be doing nothing. And, uh, but as soon as this guy is grabs a command, the other, uh, and then it will hand it to the other guy. And this guy, he will grab another uh, command and that way until you fill up all the, the pipeline. So once, once the pipeline is full, they will keep working all the time and it will not be wasteful as the earlier 
uh, CPUs. And in the, modern, in the modern CPUs, you have many guys, and they're working all the time. When the, pipeline, when the pipeline is full, they are working 24 seven. So um, that is the, the good thing about the, the CPUs uh, now, uh, nowadays. So you have uh, two, um, in this case, you, we have two different um, pipelines. So uh, one is inter integer only, for, for instance, and uh, here anything uh, pipeline. So anything else will go here. So the thing is, uh, there are some commands that are more difficult to process than others. So if, if for instance, if you want the, the easy ones, usually it will go here, integer, in the integer only. And if you want the more difficult stuff, you're going to send it uh, to the other, uh, the other way. So here we have ALU and then FPU. So it means arithmetic logic unit and the other floating point unit. So depending on the command that you have to send, you're going to use one or the other one. So in this case, uh, like I said before, uh, we have the fetch. Fetch will grab the, the data from the data bus. And then here we have two guys. They are the, the code guys. So like I said before, because if you have a, a command that is difficult to process or something like that, all the, um, the pipeline will stall. So when you have something like that, it's called a uh, wait uh, state on the, on the CPU. And they will have to do many cycles until they can process and then can, they can keep uh, working uh, on the rest of the, the commands that, that they have. So that is the, the thing. When you have many of these uh, pipelines, you can process many, uh, many things at the same time. This system is not perfect, but uh, is more efficient than the than the, the earlier early uh, CPU. So that is the the thing. So here in this case uh, we have a fetch guy, two decoy uh, the code guys, and then we have one execute guy and one uh, write guy. So depending on what you want to do is what you are going to send. And um, that is that is the the thing. At least it was basic. I tried to explain it as simple as as possible. I'm going to keep uh, making more more videos if you want to keep learning about how uh, the CPU works. And if you want to become a computer technician, this is a class so you can uh, get your certification. I'll try to leave everything on the comment uh, on the description of this video. Remember, if you have any question, leave it on the comment subscribe, click like, share it with your friends, and see you next class. Bye.